are getting closer to their last free ride. Crews have been installing fare gates and card readers on the Expo and Canada line, and today work started on the Millennium line. The new system is expected to be up and running just over a year from now, putting millions of dollars back into TransLink coffers. Ryan Coxford reports. We have a problem, and it's been with us for 26 years, since the first SkyTrain rolled out of the station. It's called I Want a Free Ride. Checking fair, sir, please. When transit police do spot checks like this one at the commercial drive station, they get writer's crap handing out tickets. We can check a thousand people in uh, an hour, and it wouldn't be unheard of to write 50, 60 tickets here. TransLink says fare evasion runs close to $18 million a year. And while there are no hard numbers, it has cost taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars over the years. To reduce the temptation to take a free ride, TransLink is putting in fare gates. The average person who has been on any other subway in the world would call them turnstiles. They keep people out who haven't paid. Work began on the low heat station today. 30 of 48 SkyTrain stations are now in some stage of development. The old Expo line, which needs retrofitting, is the most challenging. When the stations were originally built, they weren't built with the idea of fair gates in mind. So, like you see behind me at Royal Oak Station, we are actually revamping uh, the entry and exit ways. The vast majority of SkyTrain and bus riders pay their way. It's what being Canadian is all about. So most commuters say, bring it on. That's a good idea. Yeah, I think it's a idea. A lot of people don't pay. Some people walk on this thing for free, and when they're in there, they won't have to do that because they'll have to have the car to push through their turnstiles. I've never had to uh, have a car as long as I've lived in this area. So why not pay for it? Our system called Compass will incorporate a tap card similar to the fare card security used in San Francisco and Seattle. Our card may also be used in future as a retail card with TransLink getting a percentage from the commercial business. Reduced fare evasion will help pay the $170 million smart card program. What we're seeing with other systems around the world is that you can't completely eradicate fare evasion, but we do believe that the, the gates and the card readers used with the Compass card are really going to help get us closer to where we want to be. At $173 a ticket, the free ride isn't worth it if you get caught. In less than an hour here, TransLink police can write 60 tickets, over $10,000 in fines. Like a lot of things, prescription medication.